environmental extremists in Germany have uh, committed some terrible, terrible acts, and uh, they're not just uh, crazy, they're uh, wrong. But we will get into that. Uh, everything's back up to speed, and we'll get into that too. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. <laughs> Uh, joining me, as he sometimes do, it's Jan from Tesla Fix, our man on the ground in Germany. Just to confirm, you are still on the ground. Yeah, I'm. Wait. Yeah. 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 He's, I am. Yeah. He's on the ground. He's mm -hmm. grounded. And yeah. Uh, kind of. yeah. <laughs> so there's uh, a number of in environmental activists, and I throw. Let's up call the heavy them sarcastic, that. The heavy sarcastic. Don't use the key word. It's got get you demonetized, Brian. It could. It could, and I'm being careful about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I also there's a lot of other words I don't use uh, to describe people like these, and some of them start with F. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but the <laughs> friendly guys. They are not friendly, Brian. Okay. <laughs> <Let's move on. laughs> There's a great joke from Anthony Jeselnik where his friend's wife comes to me and says, my husband's calling me a bad word, and I think it's because you're a bad influence on him. And he says, did he call you the B word? And she goes, no, Anthony, he didn't. And he says, oh, no, did he call you the C word? She goes, no, Anthony, he didn't. And he says, well, then he didn't hear it from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Mm, oh. Very funny guy. So there's, uh, so let's pull this up. There's uh, this far left group claims active sabotage on Tesla. Now, I get it. You just, uh, I don't get it. I'll be honest. They're saying yeah. it's because, you know, Tesla's a bad company and they're taking too much water and all that. But there's some pieces missing from their story. So let's talk about this group. First of all, they're attacking everyone, right? They they attack Volkswagen and Mercedes and all them, right? Mm hmm. They attack the IAA. I have to give them that. So so that's What's something. That? The International Auto Show in Munich, actually. So oh. they had something going on there. So they are overall against the auto industry. But it's strange because it's kind of targeted against Tesla most of the time, especially from the Volcano Group that burns down cars, burns down superchargers. Uh, they also burn down, or as people assume that they also burn down, or, or um, people close to the group burn down um, in Frankfurt about 20 Teslas, for example, in a, in a, in a um, delivery center some someday. Um, it was 2021, I think, uh, 2021. Um, so yeah. So there are some some things happening there with them. And yeah, they, this group is pretty interesting, to say the least. They are pretty stupid and their claims are dumb, I would say. Well, they at least attack the uh, nearby coal mine, right? Because that, no, uses, not not, that uses not only more water than Tesla by orders of magnitude 10 100, 100 times more 100 yeah. times more yeah but they also go over their allotment every year uh, so surely it's they're not even cold there as it's well. no yeah uh, let's say they don't and it's it's not not even coal it's brown coal so lignite so it's yeah so mm, not the best best look <laughs> let's say it so yeah. on this article we see that uh the that they have the, the government is taking this quite seriously and that they're going to actually try and take some action to identify the people uh, responsible and hold them to account. Uh, because they didn't, when in targeting Tesla, you can't get close enough to target them without being caught on the spot. So instead they burnt down a nearby uh, electrical transformer or something like that. And, uh, the government's taking mm -hmm. it seriously. Now, the good news is this only affected Tesla? <laughs> no. Kind of. Uh, or maybe the nursing home that was attached to this uh, electrical grid or those village uh, or a village also that or, or some houses or areas were, were affected as well. Many, actually. So many households, many, many uh, hospitals as well. Um, this volcano group did a lot of harm. And it's pretty stupid because... It's interesting. They set up this camp in the forest, and suddenly there's an arson attack. So, it's it it isn't even a good look on the protesters themselves, the eco protesters that protest the water issue. That is not an issue. But uh, I'm gonna get into. I have a very funny anecdote about the water that I'm gonna share with you. 
so water is a human right, Tesla consumed <laughs> well under the amount agreed with the local water authority. So yep. they're not even, forget going over, they were given a very small water allotment and they're not using it. And they're not targeting the coal uh, mine, the lignite, mi lignite mine. They're not targeting other manufacturers as directly who make much less environmentally friendly cars. These are just loonies is, is my takeaway. And uh, yeah, we'll get to, I know the point you're going to get to, but <laughs> first we've got this fantastic response from Rohan Patel, a yep. Tesla of official. They sent me a list of facts. Let's go through them. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, that. Yep. <laughs> Gigas uh, per vehicle production only takes uh, 2.28 cubic meters of water, 33% less than the average. Uh, we recycle 100% of our industrial water. We have over eight megawatts of installed solar capacity and source renewable electricity. Afforestation, oh yeah, uh, is even faster than construction. So remember they said, we're gonna plant two trees yep. for every one we cut down. And then they said, you know what, make it three. And the reforestation went faster than the deforestation. And they're planting, <laughs> instead of a monoculture, pulp farm they're putting up uh local you know indigenous plants yep, in mixed areas forest, yeah. mixed forests in places that need it there's not they didn't just go and find an empty field and put up yep. 500 I, matching pine trees they mm. they are putting in they have put in and they completed that way ahead of schedule uh we incentivize a sustainable lifestyle. 45% of our employees commute by public transit. Our shuttle train has over 3,000 riders a day and is free. And uh, Tesla Charging has installed over 500 wall connectors. It may be the largest charging park. And more than 12,000 people work here. 1,500 of them were unemployed and another 700 were long-term unemployed. So we're giving back mm -hmm. to the local community. And we partner with schools. We're the biggest apprenticeship employer in Brandenburg. Grunheit is only beginning to benefit from Giga Berlin's. Uh, the year the factory started, 6 million euros in trade taxes were paid. The city, the municipality mm -hmm. got 6 million euros mm -hmm. from what used to be a tree farm. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to you have to think about that as well. I think that's directly from Tesla, not accounting for the workers that pay taxes. I right, assume. right. That's because just yeah. one thousand two hundred workers paying taxes is it is actually pretty huge. And there's a knock on effect with jobs. These people now have money to spend in restaurants and uh, stores and salons, and uh, they can hire someone to tend their yard if they, if they so desire. Uh, the, uh, the state achieved the highest GDP growth rate of all non-city states in Germany in large part due to, t I mean, of course they grew their GDP. They're cranking out bajillions of dollars of cars. And they're supporting a long list of community impact projects through volunteer efforts and partnerships with local youth clubs and associations. They're a good neighbor. Mm -hmm. They're a good neighbor. Absolutely. That's all I can say about that. Then there's this uh, lunatic on X who said, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's you. This is, uh, mm, yeah, this is I hate this guy. I blocked him several times. Yeah. <laughs> Such Actually, a cheeky guy. you You've probably been blocked by people who have the same logo, but aren't you. Oh, mm, scammers, strange. man. You got to watch out. Mm, mm. This is sadly in German, but for all those, this is you talking, um, mm -hmm. who still think Tesla's using too much water. There are asparagus farms <laughs> using more water. And actually, I, you, you've got it right here. The whole article is right here. So yep. uh, tell me about that. Yeah, it's it's funny because um, when those eco tea Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can even say that uh, <laughs> here on YouTube. Uh, we should do this on X. Yeah, but um, it's interesting. If they eat asparagus in the asparagus time, because we have timings, of course, asparagus doesn't grow every year here in Germany, especially it's cold, and we have a asparagus season. And the Tesla Gigafactory <laughs> uses less waters than some of those asparagus, not even all combined, some of the producers. So farmers who is protesting against asparagus farms god damn it 
burn I down blame all the asparagus farms, please. I um, <laughs> it would smell don't do it. delightful. Don't do it, please. It would yeah, smell of course. So nice. Yeah, Roast and they had did... yeah, they kind of roasted asparagus. Yeah, <laughs> it seems to be fun. But I blame big asparagus. It's a whole cabal. You've got to follow the money, and yeah, the money leads the money. to asparagus. Absolutely. So it's yeah, it's crazy that they're targeting the wrong people. They're doing it in the wrong way, and. Uh, one of the articles I was look well, and one of the articles we were looking at said uh, power is not expected to come back anytime soon, but they got it back in. Here we are. Uh, quick return of power is not expected, but they got it on in what six and a half days. Mm-hmm. So, so it is they, already... they got it running pretty fast, and then that's also. And what people also, sorry that I interrupt so yeah. harshly, but um, I think this is an important point. Um, at first I, I thought, oh, God damn it, they will cost Tesla so much money, these idiots, um, to say it bluntly. Um, but the funny, and I was thinking, oh, now it's a bad look for Tesla again. Oh, and But actually it will have a net positive effect on Tesla. That's my conclusion here. Because if you think about it, these um, the average German population or, or public, public doesn't like those climate activists that glue themselves to the streets as well they hate those guys and girls uh, that does that um do that um it's it's not uh, fun for them because they just want to go to work and stuff like this and we don't earn as much as people might think we are actually a minimum wage country uh, of course eastern europe is even more a minimum wage country but um on average the german worker earns around 37,000 euros around that ballpark. That's pretty low, actually, if you think about it. And, um, or 40, 40, maybe 40 K. That's, that's the average here. And, um, this is actually pretty low and our tax are pretty high and stuff like this. And also, um, the, 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 the medical bills we have or, or the, the, uh, how you call insurance. it? Insurance. Insurance, thank you. The, the mandatory insurance. We have a mandatory insurance that also is like 600 euros a month. And the even the the the, the um, employer actually has to pay also an amount. It's around one thousand that the insurance companies get a month. So yeah, wow. and it's, it's super crazy. But but um, that's why it's bad for the people that block traffic. For example, that's why people don't like that. And to see that that eco, I mean, if they camp in the forest and block the the cutting down of those trees that actually are set to be cut even in a, a different time. So maybe you can go into that. But well, and that, yeah, that, that's one thing that's worth noting is these are not real forests. These are not true forests. I watched mm-hmm. uh, a documentary recently about this reforestation project. I don't think it was in Germany, but it was in Europe, where what they do is they get access to lands that were formerly uh, this kind of monoculture thing, and they just fell a bunch of trees and leave them. They just leave them there because what he pointed out in the video was now listen to the sound of the forest around me, the biodiversity. We added that here, let's cut it. And I'll show you what it sounds like. Nothing because Mm -hmm. the trees are so close together. Light cannot pierce the canopy and they, uh, so there's no abundance of wildlife down here because there's Mm -hmm. no light down here. And so these, the forests that they're replacing are that that are scheduled to be removed are should be removed. They're great for producing paper or some wood products, but they're not great for nature generally. Uh, mm-hmm. We want real forests. We want healthy yeah. forests. And uh, if we can't have those, cars are going to be built somewhere. Why don't we build them in a sustainable way, in a way that helps rather than hurts? Mm-hmm. We may get to a post automotive future, but we're not going to get there in the next 10 or 20 years for sure. Let's do better rather than just be absolute loonies and target the wrong people. And it's literally targeting Tesla because you're mad at cars or water usage is as dumb as throwing soup at the Mona Lisa, mm-hmm, which mm-hmm. these uh, loonies uh, also support. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's it's yeah. it's crazy. And also, when you think about with the with the forests, um, did we mention Second World War grenades that are play, uh, 
everywhere and um, it, Tesla had um, to do a lot of um, controlled explosions actually to, to get to remove those. So the forest wasn't even accessible. You cannot access this forest. That's another thing that's so interesting. I think this part is safe apparently because it is tolerated by the police that they set up the camp there but just for a period of time. And also that's uh, something to note here. Um, these trees are set to be cut down, I think in the middle of the year actually, because there is a phase where you are not allowed to cut down trees actually in Germany. And this means they are right now, the camp is in the zone, uh, the, in the time zone or, or in the time area or whatever, <laughs> stupid German uh, brain here, um, that, they cannot cut those trees anyway right now. <laughs> so it's not they're cutting already down in season. a protected yeah. period. Yeah, they're already Re in the yeah. bat hibernation season. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, they're so they're protesting high tide during low tide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, that's kind of... bonkers. These are not these are not smart people. These are not well people. So the good news is the factory's back up and running. No one was hurt that we know of. Um the reputation of those doing the protesting has been significantly diminished. Mm -hmm. Criminal charges may follow and uh, everything is back on track. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would point out to my, uh, uh, a question I had had was why, why on earth did Tesla select Germany? And you can help me with this, but my answer mm -hmm. was they have the engineering talent and the automotive manufacturing know-how like very few other countries. The only other countries I would say of, you know, of a smaller size that could compete with German auto manufacturing would be like Japan or Korea. Mm -hmm. And those are countries that are fairly small, but have tremendous talent and experience. And that's worth something. Yes, you could have built the factory in Poland, but you know, they don't have the legacy. Would, mm -hmm. what, what do you, why do you think they selected Germany? It's pretty interesting. Um, somebody actually commented uh, on X um, to me recently. They should have gone to Bavaria or something, not into the south, not the north where the leftists are kind of. So um, the south is more conservative here in Germany as well, a little bit. So um, this is also pretty apparent. And um, what's a funny thought is, do you think in the turf of BMW and a huge auto lobby, it's such a great idea to get actually a huge factory running? Do you think that the politicians might block this thing? And I can guarantee you that might be the case as well as in the turf of Mercedes. You don't want to go to South Germany here to uh, Baden-Württemberg to, to set up shop here or Wolfsburg near VW. You don't do that because um, there are car manufacturers that have a huge lobby arm and huge lobby uh, power actually in the region that if you think those protests we already have in Grünheide are bad, think about all the workers that work for VW and you have uh, uh, Tesla nearby. It won't. It w it cannot expand. It won't happen. It, it will be have so so many more roadblocks. So this is one one huge point. And to answer your question now, uh, to, <laughs> if, if I may, um, <laughs> yeah, Germany makes a lot of sense, like you said, because of the engineering talent and also because um, it's different when you have a manufacturer in your country actually, and the German manufacturers, in the view of Elon as well, he talked about this pretty much and uh, often is mission critical for his mission to get to or uh, to to uh, accelerate the advent to sustainable energy because VW has to move also and that makes sense that you have the competition in your country and um, this makes sense and Grünheide is a great selection of course because it's far away from those auto lobbies and there is not any auto lobbies actually there Tesla is the first mover there it makes sense it, it's it's like a spot in the map that is not claimed right now so it makes sense and also the talent from berlin um, moving over and poland is near and many workers also come from eastern europe and they ju can just kind of drive through or, or set up shop there because in europe we can work in every country we like i could work in in spain if i like um that we have a free trade agreement between the countries we can move uh, from spain to germany no problem without any visas or something so that's right. that's the main thing yeah yeah, the, the bartender that I met in Amsterdam was from Romania. There's mm -hmm. no visa. Yeah. He just yeah. comes and applies for the job. Yeah. And the other thing is, with there not being automotive in Berlin, 
there are German citizens who are from Berlin who are forced to work in the south of Germany. They would <laughs> yeah. love to perhaps move back home. There are people who mm -hmm. don't want to live in certain places because maybe their family is there and they don't want to be too close to their family. No, no, the other way around. <laughs> but uh, And that's why we'll see a lot of automotive companies in Detroit will also have uh, operations just over the lakes in Canada because there are people who don't want to leave Canada. This is where I'm mm -hmm. from. This is where I'm comfortable. I get it. It's not that far, but culturally it could be a, a shift and they don't want to do it. So you pick a, a country that has the talent, you pick an area that, that might have talent available that's not already spoken for by a legacy company and away you go. Jan, I do want to mm -hmm. thank you for hanging out with me. For those who don't know, I'm going to be in Germany visiting with Jan at the end of May. It's true. Mm -hmm. uh, it is true. We're going to the X takeover in Austria together. Uh, it'll be a whole thing. And if you see one of us in public, you'd say that might be the guy from the thing. But if you see us together, you're like, well, those are definitely the guys from the thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Isn't that the guy that always mentions Bips, Bobs, and uh, Bobs, Bips, Bibs and Bobs? And Bobs. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. From Bob, Bob's. I, Bob is not going to be there. Uh, uh, I haven't talked to him, but I'm confident he will not be there. But uh, He has to make Bibs, right? And Bobs. You know. He does. But my, uh, so uh, my buddy, who is a retired engineer at Ford, who worked on the Mach-E program, will be there. He will be flying out to join us. Nice. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, you'll get to meet him. You've talked to his wife a few times, I think, on mm -hmm. uh, for the Michigan event. So, uh, and yeah, Jan is also coming to the Michigan event in Michigan. Yeah, I'm... Well, on surprised. June 15th. It's yep. going to be so I'm, much fun. I'm stoked. <laughs> we're going to have, we're going to be sick of each other. I hope not. All right. Yeah, so guys. <laughs> What did we miss? What do we misunderstand? Leave it into them comments below. How crazy are these people? Uh, you know, subscribe, head over to Tesla fix. He does great interviews. He gets great guests. He provides fantastic insight. I don't know why he always says no, but he <laughs> does. It's a good channel and, uh, everybody else, you know, like subscribe do the usual, uh, stay tuned, stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots, uh, in Austria or maybe Michigan. Let's see. Bye.